Paper was like gold in medieval times. Oh, not tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. Flashes those ganaches. <laughs> I hope you don't have any film in that thing. I'm camera shy, you know. Ha! You would have fooled me. <laughs> camera? This ain't a camera show. It looks like a camera to me. Then I think we can say it is definitely <laughs> not a camera. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. This is a camcorder. <laughs> Video technology at its best. Oh, yeah. Make love to it, Shell. <laughs> <laughs> That's not Naomi Campbell you're talking to, that's my wife. <laughs> your wife, does you sure about that? I thought she was your long-lost daughter. <laughs> <laughs> what I want with a long-lost daughter when the one I got a can find because she's out sporting all night until goodness knows when, doing goodness knows what and goodness knows where. <laughs> Thank goodness I'm not Gloria. I mean, how many children stay home and discuss the future with their parents? Des, you've been watching too much of the Cosby show, mate. Yes, Mom, she only just passed her exams. In the Gambia, we firmly believe that as much time should be spent on career guidance as it is on education. You hear that, Desmond? After all those years of studying, he's gonna take just as long deciding which job he wants. <laughs> well, I've always known what career my talents were destined for, Des. And what is that then, Tone? <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I needed someone to supervise the decoration of one of my flats, why do you think I turned to Louise and not to Gloria? Because Gloria would have reported you to the low pay unit. No, because Louise knows what she wants out of life, and one is simply responding to that. <laughs> well, thanks to one, my daughter is out with Louise all the time looking after your blasted flat, instead of staying home deciding on her career. That's oh, great, that's great, do it again. Instead of staying home <laughs> deciding on her career. Oh, yes. I'll tell you what, I think I'm getting the hang of this directing like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sort of thing I'd be filming here if I had a camera. So, you just give me a great idea. <laughs> oh, this is the life, girl. Mm, quite light in. No more revising for A-levels. No more revising ever. A couple of lagers. A couple of my dad's lagers. <laughs> and my own pad. Mm. I wish it was for more than two weeks, though. Oh, the rate Matthew's decorators are going, it looked like you'll be here forever. Even better. You know, I've always envied you, Gloria. Back of the queue. <laughs> Level-headed, brought up in a happy, understanding family environment. You make me sound like the Waltons. <laughs> I mean, you know where you've come from. What, Peckham? And you know where you're going. Well, it was going to be Peckham, but it looks like I've missed the last bus, so, uh, ain't that a shame? I hope you're going to phone home. What, are you, my mother? Gloria, I don't care. <laughs> if you're 18 or you're 80, you must have your cab fare to come home at night. <laughs> I don't know what it's like I mean, when Dad clocks me. Gloria, you're thinking more about what job you're going to do. <laughs> Honestly, they treat me like... Their daughter? Mm -hmm. I know, it must be such a hassle having someone show a keen interest in you. Interest? After 18 years keen interest, even you'd find the repayments a hassle. <laughs> anyway, we're independent women of the 90s. Hmm. It's got a certain ring to it. Hmm. I've just had an idea. Save it for university. <laughs> no, we could get our own place. Imagine it, Glor. We could live like this all year round. I want to get parole for good behaviour. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. And I've got enough on my plate as it is. But you just said you was an independent woman of the 90s. I am. But I'm also a creature of comfort. And at home, it's free. <laughs> Mo 
move over, Spike. The fresh Prince of Peckham is here. <laughs> Are you 100% sure about all this? Des will go spare. Tone, all I'll be doing is videoing the life of Barbershop. I mean, what's he got to go spare about, eh? Well, little things like you unscrewing the legs to his table, getting me to rig his hand shower, you taking the springs out of the till, also you can win five grand on you being framed. Yeah, and what's he got to go spare about? Saying you're making a low-budget European art house movie set in a barber shop. The hairdresser's husband, too. <laughs> Ta da! I can see the reviews now. Matthew adds very similitude to a gargantuan film of intellectual and artistic integrity. <laughs> Dirty Ray. <laughs> yes, boy. Probably the best barber in the world. Yes. You can't act the part of a barber dressed like that. Why not? He's been acting the part of a barber dressed worse than that for years. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on. Positions, everyone. Now, look, Matthew, mm -hmm. you are sitting over here, right, playing a customer, getting his hair washed by Desmond. And believe me, you are enjoying it, right? This is going to take more acting than I anticipated. <laughs> look, right, you're sitting over there, getting ready to play dominoes with, um, old E.T. over there. Come on. <laughs> I'll be back to you in a minute, right? That's all right. Take your time. I need to feel my way around this part. <laughs> yeah. Right, and, uh, Tone, your best boy. Yeah, what else? Uh, best boy? What's that? <laughs> it's director's jargon, there's OK. <laughs> and... action! Uh, what the...? What, what's that? Oh, go on in, Des. Wash his hair. Well, I can't. There's no water coming out of the taps. <laughs> if he's not ready, we are. That's right. Yeah, yeah, in a second, pork pie. Tone, you're good at plumbing, aren't you? Oh, yeah? Oh, I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Fellini wouldn't have these problems. There's <laughs> not a drop. Forget those two and film me, man. I'm reaching my peak. <laughs> I keep it storm. Look, this mic picks up everything. Shh. <laughs> oh, no, I've missed it. There's no good off peak now. I suppose that's your idea of a joke. <laughs> Did you get it all in, Lee? Shut up! Get one. Why are you mashing up my truck? <laughs> yes, yes. I come clean with you, mate. I was trying to do a you've been framed. More like we've been had. Could someone please put me in the picture? It's a TV show, Math. You know, own video's gone wrong. Ah, no wonder I hadn't heard of it. You see, the only light entertainment I allow myself is mastermind. <laughs> You really live life to the full, don't you, man? <laughs> right. I want you to clear up this place right now. Oh. I don't want any more mess of pranks in this place. <laughs> oh, what a nightmare. Desmond, what you looking for? Have you seen my lagers anywhere? Why you don't try the tumble dryer while you're at it? Well, I've already done that. <laughs> you're sure you didn't drink them? Hmm? You know what your memory is like after one of your lagers? It's not my memory, it's Whitney who stood up there. I mean, I invite <laughs> Popeye for a drink, because she gone and drink out all my lagers. If she can't live by the rules of this house, she'll have to move out. I think I'll go and have a word with her. Uh, all right. If she's to be spoken to, I'll do it. I know what you're like. Hurricane Desmond. But listen, <laughs> somebody got to talk to her straight, otherwise it's yeah, 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 some of the time, OK? I'm on the way out. <laughs> Boy, that's a hard tune. Sounds like somebody's enjoying themselves upstairs. Not for long. Well, why, I think we got to go to the pub instead. You can't invite a pensioner up for a drink one minute and then tell him to go down to the pub the next. I was looking forward to having a wrap, drinking your lagers. I'm paying, man. Well, stop talking to man and let's go. Bye. <laughs> um, hang on a minute, Pope. <laughs> Gloria? Hmm? I know you only just passed your exam. Yeah, look, some of us have a time just to rub out. OK. <laughs> on your way out? You're always on your way out. 
You treat this place more like a garage. You pull in any hour you want, fill up with petrol, and then you zoom off out again. Oh, 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 you just stay right where you are, little miss. Otherwise, you won't be allowed out anywhere, at any time. You know what, Desmond? If we leave now, I'll treat you to that lager. <laughs> allowed out? Mum, I'm not allowed to go anymore, you know. I've got my A-levels. Huh? Well, A-levels don't make it the woman. And as long as you're under this roof, you're still a little girl. Oh, maybe I shouldn't stay under this roof. Well, if that's the way you want it, that's fine by me, because two women can't live under one roof. <laughs> don't you suck your teeth at your mother! <laughs> Gloria, Jeanette, Elaine, Ambrose, your Uncle Pork Pie would like to have a word with you. I've seen you wet your nappies. I've seen you sick in your bed. I've seen you come home from school bawling your eyes out. And if it wasn't for your mother and father being there to wipe your nose or to give you love, you wouldn't be able to spell A-levels, let alone pass them. <laughs> you don't suck your teeth and walk out on your parents, not where we come from. So go to your room. And when you do that, come back and apologize. Oh, pie boy, <laughs> what can I say? The first round's on you. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't know what got into her, but whatever it is, poor pie, you certainly did the trick. It's just a little something I never had a chance to say to my own daughter, Denise. <laughs> Aha, I see it didn't take you too long to come to your senses. No, Uncle Pope Pie, it didn't. Well, go on then. Don't you have something to say to your parents? Yeah. Mum? Dad, I'm leaving home. Oh. <laughs> what a miserable day. England cool, eh, boy? <laughs> you look as old as I feel. <laughs> Gloria? No, Mr. Ambrose, it's me, Louise. But she's all right. She's with me, Rand Matthews flat. Um, well, can I speak to her, please? You could, but... But what? She doesn't want to speak to you. She doesn't? Look, put the girl on. <laughs> I'm only the go-between, Mr. Ambrose, and besides, she's sleeping. We were up all night. Yes, clubbing it again. Well, we didn't go in the end. Just did a lot of talking and crying and more crying. I tend to get a bit emotional at these sort of things. You should have been here. You would have been in good company. <laughs> yeah, well, that's why I'm calling. She says she's not coming back until she gets an apology. Sorry? No, not from you, from Mrs. Ambrose. She wants... she wants Shirley to apologise? What, you want blood? <laughs> what, what is this world coming to when a man can't speak to you on picnic like you old picnic? <laughs> but that's just it. She isn't a picnic. I mean, child. <laughs> anymore. But then again, I am only the... Go between. All right, tell her Shirley apologises. Now put on the girl. <laughs> Who was on the phone? Me. <laughs> Gloria's with Louise at Matthew's flat. I thought she would be. It's going to be a lovely day. Shirley, why don't phone Gloria? I'm sure she'll appreciate having a call from her favourite mother. Yes, man. She would have had to leave home sooner or later, so why not sooner rather than later? But, Shirley... Life goes on. You said it yourself. If she's going to break all our rules, she might as well move out. And she's not coming back till she apologizes first. <laughs> What's this, Lee? You resorted to videoing your foot bottom? <laughs> no, Des, we're watching the playback through the viewfinder to see what we shot yesterday. Ha, that's director's jargon, that is, Des. And? <laughs> we should have shot the director. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, if we put our heads together, we're bound to come up with something. Lee, my head is far too precious to be put together with yours. <laughs> <laughs> Here, Lee, why don't we try filming outdoors? 
Oh, look, we've done all the inside stuff. Hello, Desmond. Look, Desmond, I don't want a showdown. I'm surprised you showed up. You wrecked my family, then disappear faster than Linford Christie. I was only trying to help this man. I just gave Gloria a piece of my mind. You sure you can spare it? Because you got two women who will apologize to each other until one of them apologizes to the other one first. Why? I don't envy your problem, Desmond. My problem? You and your big mouth. You can insult me as much as you want, Desmond. Thank you, I will. But it's not going to bring Gloria back. You're right, book boy. We got to find some way to make them make up. No matter what it costs. As long as it's not too expensive, because I don't have any money. <laughs> but if Shirley won't go there. And Gloria won't come here. I've got it. Right. Who's coming to the party me this Sunday to help me crack this video thing, eh? Ah! Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Gloria, your skirt is too short. <laughs> And you took a level out. Oh, Dad, I thought you'd be Mum. It's not the decor, then. Nice. <laughs> which bit's Matthew's decorators and which bit's you? Oh, it's really the guys. I'm just making a mess of things. Take a seat. Well, it looks as if someone already has. This is beanbag country round here, Dad. Why, well, thank you, old bean. <laughs> so, what brings you to this neck of the woods? I come to watch paint dry. What do you think I'm doing here? Oh, let's not argue, Dad. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but... Uh... Oh, don't mind me. <laughs> I'll just go and make a cup of tea, then, shall I? No, you can stay, Lou. <laughs> So this is where you live? Well, it do for the time being. It's what we independent women of the 90s call a stepping stone. Well, man, you don't miss the step and fall flat on your face. <laughs> well, look, Dad, it's not my fault, all right? I'm fed of people nagging me all the time. I want to make my own decisions in my own time, in my own way. I'm not a child, you know. Well, you still have a mother. Yeah, I know, Dad, I know. But well, that's your problem, Gloria. You know everything. I mean, what do you know? Well, I know I embarrassed Uncle Port Pie and you. And most of all, I know I let Mum down. Is it me, Paul Pay, or is it me? Of course it's not you. Huh. I expect everyone goes through the same with their kids. You're so determined not to repeat your parents' mistakes, you end up making a whole heap of your own. Don't look at me. <laughs> I didn't exactly get any gold stars with my daughter. I didn't even get a bronze star for my marriage. You know, Popeye, I wouldn't mind if it was just me. But in front of you as well? Uh -uh. It's like everyone's got their beady eye on me waiting for me to make one wrong move. You can't ask her a simple question without her jumping down your throat. So I go out once in a blue moon of an evening. Every night she's out, gallivanting. <laughs> I had to leave home sooner or later, didn't I? Look me in the eyes and tell me you weren't happy at home. Shirley, you can't tell me you don't want her back. Of course I do. But I'm not a rug for her to walk on. I know. <laughs> Why don't we go for a walk in the park tomorrow? Lee wants everybody to help him make this video where everything goes wrong. Oh, I should be the star of that one then, shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> You're probably right, poor Pine. Some of my worst problems have been solved with a walk in the park. And you never know who you might bump into. <laughs> right, now, let's go through it again. He's got to be joking. Listen, when the director talks, you've all got to pay attention, right? Now, Tone, you ride the BMX towards the tree, all the time giving it something out to the camera, yeah? I'll follow along in my tracking dolly, as if Pie gets there with it, and just before you smack into the tree, Matthew shouts out, Geronimo. Did he say? Look, you've got to shout loud. He's got to hear you. Geronimo! Oh, right, all right. He's not in Australia. Anyway, just in time, you up off of the bike, out of the way, and five grand in the can. It's not going to look like an accident, Lee. And I'll tell you what else. It ain't even funny. That is what he thinks. Listen, right? Don't shout out. 
I beg your pardon? Trust me, it'd be brilliant. Don't shout out when he gets to the tree. Lee, I'm surprised at you. 20% <laughs> of the prize money. Do what? It's my prize for silence. Look, this is you've been framed, not the price is right. All right, 10 <laughs> 15. Done. It's truth. Never aggle with an African, especially one who's been to business school, eh? <laughs> OK, Tone. Yeah, well, but... Good, 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 good. Right, roll them. What? Well, aren't you going to wait for pork pie and his trucking, Dolly? No, no, no. I'll have to do it on foot. Besides, we're running at a light, I think. What? <laughs> you wouldn't understand. It's director's jargon. <laughs> right, Tone. Go! No, 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 no. <laughs> and... Action! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, keep it still, Matthew. Keep it still. Oh, my God, what you done? You're supposed to shut up, Matthew. You didn't shut up. I could have damaged me looks. Tom, Tom, he's lost his voice. And your mouth? Yes. Oh. <laughs> well, Louise. Can you take this trolley I found at the Whirlies filming? He said he needs it for a tracking shot. A what? It's director's jargon. <laughs> oh, yeah, of course, Mr. Grant. <laughs> so, Desmond, on behalf of your client, you have to apologize to me first on behalf of my client. Me? Apologize to you? Accepted. Accepted? But I haven't even apologized. Why? Well, you sneakier than I thought. First you apologize, then you take it back. How can I take back something I haven't given in the first place? You started, so you apologize. No, I started so I get to say who apologizes first. That's the proper way to do it. Are you saying that I'm improper? Before you apologize to my client, you apologize to me first. Not until you apologize to me first. Right! Oh, Mom, can't you stop him? Of course I can. Hey, you, Marx Brothers, keep that up if you don't want any dinner. <laughs> That's better. Not so difficult to sort out a squabble if you want to, is it? Mom, what is for dinner? <laughs> right. Now, you are going to track me in this dolly. It's a trolley, Lee. It's a technical term, Louise, <laughs> so I can pan with my camera. This is going to be brilliant, this. OK, Math. Ready when you are, spiky baby. <laughs> <laughs> what I said to him. Action! He <laughs> <laughs> hurt himself if I don't shout out. Don't you dare. He didn't do it for you, did he? I've got him. It's all right. It's going to be brilliant. <laughs> Geronimo! <laughs> That's not funny, Matthew. <laughs> Hold that for a second. Oh, this is so worrying. We'll give it a shot, mate. We'll give it a oh, shot. Oh, oh, You have? Hey, hold it, hold it. I'm just going to move in now for a close-up. All right? Oh. <laughs> 